Hello, welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome to Bangkok. Uh, we're in Bangkok, Thailand at the moment and I'm about to head off to a model shop um, not too far from here. We've got to catch a train and, uh, well, a sky train, they call it, and uh, to get there. Uh, it's called Model World and uh, I intend on buying a few kits to bring back to Australia. And to help me do that is a nice size suitcase here. So we've got that to take and uh, yeah. So um, let's head off and uh, let's see what's available at this um, pretty incredible place. If you'd seen earlier, I did a video on this um, about a month ago when I first got here. And uh, now I'm on my way home after a holiday, after, after the holiday and um, yeah, it's time to fill up the bag and do some shopping. All right, so uh, let's go. See you soon. Hey, back again. Just thought I'd cut in on the journey getting to this place. Um, it's not too busy in the morning here in Bangkok. It's, uh, I think it's about 9.30, um, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, the shop shop I'm going to doesn't open till 11 so I'll have time to stop and get something to eat but what I'm doing now is um, heading to the train station well it's sort of a monorail it's called Nana BTS and it is just in front now I'm about to go up the stairs I have to go six stops to Victory Monument and that's where uh, I'm not far I have to walk to the shop from there so um yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stop the recording here and I'll be back very, very shortly. Hey, I made it up onto the platform. Um, it costs 40 baht. 40 baht is about dollar ten, dollar twenty, I think. Uh, I've got to travel nine stops. I think it's nine to Victoria Monument, as I mentioned. Uh, get an idea what the train looks like. There it is there. It's obviously not my train. Uh, but I'll be getting one which I can actually see down at the other station. Might be able to just make out the lights of it down there. That's in Sukumovit station. This one was a closer to walk to from where I was staying. So it's pretty amazing. People are looking at me with my suitcase and taxis are stopping saying airport, airport. And, you know, um, and then people watch me carrying up the stairs to the platform. It's empty, so it weighs nothing, but it looks heavy. <laughs> anyway, I'll um, I'll jump on the train. Looks like it's coming now. There it is. All right, and I'll catch up with you at the other end. Back shortly. Hey, back again. So I'm just trying to get my bearings. Um, because it's like a huge, Vic, Victory Monument is a huge roundabout with the monument in the center, which I'll show you in a second. But um, everything looks the same in every direction off it. And I'm trying to remember, I just walked past a chemist, I remember being here a month ago. So I, I know I'm going the right way. I'm fairly sure which way I've got to go. Let me just show you the monument itself. I'll just um, turn the camera around in a moment. And here we go. There we go. So let's have a quick look over here. This is what I mean by the big roundabout. There's the monument. There's all the traffic. And we've got to go over there. The distance there's that blue bus. Pretty sure. Down that street there. So we will stay along this walkway across the top here, which is great. It's in the shade uh, under the monorail line. You'll be able to see if I get past here, the monorail coming across quickly. There it is over the top there. And um, so that's what we came in on. Well, that's what we're going back on because that's going in the opposite direction. Uh, anyway, that's enough of this. Um, oh, I'll get back into the more on the subject of uh, the models. So um, next time we'll be out the front of the... Uh, 
shop or at least the location of where it is. In case you want to come here and you need directions, you'll find this video quite useful. All right, Google Maps, yeah, took me a while to find it the first time, so yeah. All right, I shall return. Oh, back again. <laughs> I forgot to realize that the shop doesn't open till 11. Oh, here I am thinking I've got about half an hour, so it's hot. It's about 33 degrees. I'm sweating already. So I've found a little place to grab something. Now, I've got to remember to do this. But here, look, Cafe Cloud. So I'm going to get myself a nice iced coffee and go sit down over there under the tree and chill out for a bit. And um, yeah, should be good. All right, back in a sec. Hey, back again. Sorry, it's a bit noisy, closer to the main road. Just for directions here, it's about a 10 minute walk up from the Victory Monument BTS station. And as you come up here, you'll come past this here, which is a hairdresser's, okay? And then a bit further up, if I remember right, and there is, is a florist. So I'll just turn the camera around, you can have... So there's this florist here. That's how I remember, and the car wash. That's the important thing to remember. Okay, so the car wash is uh, definitely um, the way you gotta go in here. And I uh, thought I just might not mention that uh, the temperature at the moment is 33 degrees, and it's saying the feels like temperature is 40, 43 degrees, how's that? Anyway, here we go. So there's a military base down there of some sort. Don't worry about that. Here we are at this PX Commissionary, which is a supermarket. Okay. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, a lot of sirens happening at the moment. But in here, next to the car wash place, off the main street there, you see it's another ambulance. They're just constant. I'd hate to think the statistics, people. So here we are, we go to the supermarket. You go actually into the supermarket, all right? So let me show you. There we go, so we're in the supermarket. And down here in the corner is Model World. Now I'm a little bit early, so I don't think it's open yet. You'll see the little sign up. That's the only way in is actually in through the supermarket. Okay. There it is there. Now I'm a bit early, like I said, but uh, it's almost 11 o'clock and it'll be open. So, there we go. There's uh, military supplies if you want to go buy some of that while you're here, but yeah. So I'll come back when they're open and uh, do a bit of shopping. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so shop is just opened. Here we are. Looks like there have been a few additions to the place. It looks like there's a bit more stock in here than I saw last time. In fact, uh, I'm sure it looks busier. So I just, I'm just just going to have a wander around and tick off a few things on my list to start with. God, look at that submarine. Look at the size of that box. box is, it's about the size of my Yamato box. Massive. There is a Yamato up there, 1350 scale. Big Tamiya box up there. Look at that. Look, if you haven't already, I've already done the video uh, five weeks ago, it would have been now, when I came to this store. And now I'm just here to spend money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Cutty Sark up there. I Ravel. Constitution's up there. USS. There's that uh, Zavanka. Probably pronounced that wrong, but the icebreaker ship. Yeah. Tempting. Tempting. Um, but what I want is the Formula One car and um, some bikes, but everything's moved. So. We're gonna have to do a bit of searching. All right, so uh, I'll I'll, um, I'll come back and uh, 
when I found a couple of boxes and uh, I'll give you an update. All right, I'm just cooling off. They've got a fan going in here. Oh, it's hot. All right, back shortly, guys. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So, I've been here walking around in circles, trying to decide what to buy, and I've chosen a few things. So, first of all, for my mate, Hibbo, I got you the V-Dub Camper. They look good. Um, I think you want to build that all rusted out and weathered. But all the interior looks really nice. That's for you. Um, for myself, uh, I've decided on the Kawasaki Z1300. That was on my list. That's just the engine. It's going to come up really, really nice in detail. Then I've got the Tamiya Tyrrell P34. There it is there. 1.6 scale. I'm going to buy that along with the Brabham down there as well. Also one six scale, one twelve scale, all right. And that was one twelve scale as well. Now I do have more space, but I just can't decide. I do need to go to the Tamiya store and pick up a Honda Monkey one six scale, which is a decent sized box. Tempted to get another motorbike. I just don't know which one. The Ninja H two R. Sorry, there we go. <laughs> The Ninja H2R. I could do that nicely. Or we've got the X14. Uh, that looks nice too. Or I could get both. <laughs> Alright. I think I'll grab this one. Okay guys. So that's it for the shopping here. And um, please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, give us a thumbs up. If you like this um, I'll put the Google Maps directions to this store if you're ever in Bangkok um, it's, it's yeah as you can see great choice of stuff in here just things I can't buy because they're just too big <laughs> um, but um, yeah it, I'll um, finish up here I'll buy my purchases we'll we'll go through them what I bought when I get back to my room and uh, see what I spent and uh, and have a look at them all right okay guys I'll catch you again shortly bye for now hey everybody welcome back so I'm back at the hotel room um, finished my spending spree um, bought a little bonus stuff too which I'll, I'll show you um, so what I ended up with is I filled up my suitcase get a look at that well, there's a bit more room and I'm still going to go to the Tamiya stop, store and there's a couple of things I want to get. Um, so yeah, we've got the Kawasaki, you saw that, the Kawasaki Z, sorry it's in reverse, but anyway, Z3100 motorcycle engine. So that's going to be a beautiful build. I'm really looking forward to doing all the detail work on that. Look at that. Fantastic. Um, I also, oh, you know I bought this for... My mate Simon Hibbo, and uh, got tempted to keep that one for myself, but anyway, that's yours, buddy. Um, I bought the Tyrrell, as you saw, the six wheeler. I'm denied about that, but uh, you know, Gilly, Gilly uh, mentioned it was a uh, quite a good build, so why not? It's odd looking with the two wheels on the front, but. Anyway, a bit of weight in there, quite a bit of photo etch, good size amount of stuff in there. And then we've got the Martini Brabham here. There it is. That's one I, I really want to do as well. So that'll be a nice kit. Looking forward to that and the upcoming videos. And also, um, while I was there, I thought, oh, I need another motorcycle, don't I? So I bought the Ninja H H2R Kawasaki. So uh, we'll give that a go. So if anybody has uh, built these models, um, and you've got any tips for me, uh, let me know in the comments below. Because um, uh, they'll certainly be on the list of things to do. Um, also, <laughs> a little bit off subject, was I made a bit of an investment. So uh, I don't know if anybody knows about this, but... Um, 
there's a thing called Thai gold. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of it, but I would suggest you um, Google it and check it out. So Thai gold is unique to Thailand. It's called the Bart, and it comes in where you can buy uh, a Bart gold bar, and there's half Barts, and I think there's a quarter Barts as well. So I went and bought myself some gold. So here we go. There's uh, two gold one Bart bars there. They're quite nice. Uh, I've got uh, samurais on the back of them. Look really good. Uh, come in a nice gold pouch here. Um, so those two, and just for the record, the current market price is what you pay, plus a little bit of commission, which is only, um, it was 400, 450 baht. Um, I paid uh, 64,000 baht for those two gold bars. Um, in Australian dollars, that's just over 2,700 Australian dollars. And uh, yeah, I've been, I've been thinking about doing it for a while. I've been watching the market, the price. Um, you can't really lose out. It's, I think it's a good investment uh, long term. Um, there's rumours going around because the new government is going to be um, put in, their, well, they're talking about in the next few days, possibly this week, announcing who the new Prime Minister is going to be. That could go good, that could go bad. Um, either way, it'll have a positive effect on the price of gold. Um, an unstable government in the Thailand, people will want to invest in something that's um, not um, money in the state-run banks, so they buy gold, so that should maybe put the currency up a bit. Um, also on a good economy too, if the, um, the uh, people elected Prime Minister uh, gets in, then uh, that's good for the economy and that gives people um, trust in uh, uh, the gold as well. So I, I think I'm gonna, I've made a good choice. So a little bit of an investment. We'll see how that goes. Um, but the good thing is that I can walk into any gold shop anywhere in the country and the price of the gold is standard across the country, the buy and sell price. So I know that I can just do a walk in there and get my money back if the market is as it is. And it is slowly creeping up. So, yeah, it's all good. All right. So thank you all for watching. Um, looking forward to having some more videos coming out soon. Um, depending on when you're watching this, I've got the Yamato to finish. Uh, that's first priority. And, uh, and then, well, as you saw, some kits to build. So, uh, all good. I'm uh, off to go get some lunch now. And maybe if I've got time, I might get over to the Tamiya shop and have a look. But, uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And please subscribe. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, put a comment down below what you think, particularly if you've built these kits before, uh, what you think of them. And let me know. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, see you later from Bangkok, Thailand. Bye, guys.